All right, welcome to the introduction for the swimsuit diet. This is a critically important lecture to understand why the metabolism does what it does and why you will be doing things differently in the swimsuit diet program. This program is really at its core a shape change program. It is not enough just to help you lose weight and even burn fat. What we are trying to do is create shape change, turning pear shapes into hourglass shapes, turning apple shapes into V shapes or hourglass shapes. Those are the shapes you're gonna learn how to achieve in this program. And we certainly don't want you losing weight like many people do and becoming a more pronounced and mushier version of your former shape. We don't want big apple and pear shapes going to smaller, more pronounced and mushier apple and pear shapes. And that's exactly what happens for many people who diet the standard way. So let's talk about that. Here's what you think is the way to do weight loss. You think and, and have been told by experts that you should lower calories by eating less and exercising more. And this could be lowering calories or counting carbohydrates or doing more exercise or more intense exercise or longer exercise. All of these variations. And now the eat less, exercise more model comes in many different shades of gray. For some people, it's don't eat gluten and run marathons. For other people, it's go paleo and do tons of CrossFit workouts every day. It does not matter what you're using, but the key thing to understand is you're probably using some version of the eat less, exercise more model. And you've been told if you do that, that will lead to weight loss. And if you get weight loss, you should have a balanced metabolism. And this is exactly wrong. This is actually not how it works. The real way it works is like this. You must first balance your metabolism, which will then cause you to naturally lower calories because when you have a balanced metabolism, you'll have less hunger, more stable and high energy and absent cravings. And because of that, you will then lose weight for good. And not just lose weight, but lose fat. And not just lose fat, but actually change the shape of your body so that your swimsuit body appears at the end of all this effort, which it typically does not, right? People are spinning their wheels constantly, eating like birds and running like crazy or doing all kinds of crazy workouts and their bodies don't change in the way that you would think for all the effort they're putting in. But when you do things this way, the body changes in the direction that you want it to. Here is the reason why. The reason why other efforts fail is because your metabolism does not work like a calculator, nor does it work like a chemistry set. In other words, there's no specific calorie math equation that leads to sustainable, predictable weight loss. Nor is there some magical carbohydrate or fat number or protein number with your macronutrients that lead to some magical chemistry makeup of hormones that is automatically gonna lead, lead to fat loss. Instead, your metabolism works more like a thermostat or a seesaw or a boomerang or a yo-yo or anything that you can think of that causes pushback against your actions. In other words, if you sit on a seesaw, you might go down, but the other side goes up. The metabolism is constantly adapting and reacting to everything you do. In other words, it pushes back against you. You eat less, you exercise more, it has changes, it compensates.